Hello my lovely angels how are you guys doing I hope you're fine and rocking as always This is Sheetal Sapan Matre welcome to my channel today we are going to do a topic that has been requested by one of our followers the topic is all about karmas what good karmas have you generated what negative karmas has been created what you need to surrender to create more karmas good in sense and what are the effects of the positive karmas that you have created we also going to learn what are the lessons you are meant to learn and all of that in detail so i am so excited for today's reading we have three options over here option number 1 is this lovely sand timer option number 2 is this flower tea light holder and option number 3 is this lovely elephant so you can choose any option that you are drawn towards in case if you're confused as to which option you should be considering then here i have three uh i have your date of birth i'm going to just shuffle them and i'm going to close my eyes and assign date of birth to each pile Yeah. All right, and for pine number one, the date of birth is eleven to twenty. For pine number two, the date of birth is twenty-one to thirty-one, and for pine number three, the date of birth is one to ten. In case if you are still confused, then there is one more option, which is my personal favorite. Take three pieces of paper. In each piece of paper, write. one pile number that is either pile 1 or pile 2 or pile 3 close your eyes and say dear god goddess archangels please give me detailed insights on the karmas that i have created then pick up any one piece of paper if you get pile 1 that's going to be your pile or if you get any other pile number then you need to watch that particular pile so this is a simple method i hope you enjoy this reading if you do please do subscribe to my channel if you are guided and do like and share this video with all those whom you think will need it or benefit from this reading so let's get started hello group 1 how are you guys doing this is shital sapan matri welcome to my channel this is one of the topics that you had requested is uh, all about your karmas today we are going to see what good karmas have you created what negative karmas have you generated the effects of the positive karma what lessons you need to learn and what you can do to create more good karmas and reduce the negative karmas so you have chosen this sand timer so clearly you are an old soul you are you you are someone who has kind of you know been through so many uh, like so many lifetimes and you have been learning your lessons pretty well you are a wise soul old soul you find yourself knowing lot of things and you wonder how do i know this you also guide lot of people people really benefit via your guidance now let's see in detail first we are going to see what good karmas have you created good karmas what negative karmas have you created and this could be in this lifetime or previous lifetimes as well included in this let's also see what lessons you are meant to learn what is the main lesson that you have chosen to learn in this lifetime okay now let's see your cards in detail all right the good karmas that you have created first and foremost you have really helped your friends you're someone who is so lively who helps other people and uh, you do not expect anything in return you have kind of learned this lesson earlier you used to expect things in return but now you are like you know what uh, let it be you know i don't want to expect anything in return you have also helped uh, people when they were downright defeated okay you have kind of stood for them you have also helped them to shine their light uh i you know when i look at this two card here this person is so sad and defeated and over here 
uh, you know, the person is shining and happy. So I feel that you have helped many people who were sad, disappointed to find that brightness, find that happiness, find that joy. You've also, uh, you know, you are, you are someone when the moment you walk in to a room, you fill the room with love and light. Also, your energy is so high that negativity tends to go away. Now, how come this is a good karma? So when you do a lot of, you know, good deeds, when you are praying and when you are chanting, your vibrations are extremely high. And these high vibrations bring a lot of light into any space that you are in. And that particular energy helps other people to uplift themselves as well. Now, let's see the negative karma that you have created till now. Okay. All right. So, um, it looks like you have kind of uh, disappointed someone who had a lot of faith and trust in you. Okay. I also feel that there could be some karma around children. All right. Or somebody who is younger to you. So, clearly this karma is around someone who is younger to you. And it looks like, you know... Uh, you have kind of hurt them. You have clearly, you know, kind of um, hurt someone with your words. You did not give the love uh, that someone was expecting out of you. Now, when I say love, it does not mean romantic love only. It means, you know, uh, love as a friend it could be love as a... Uh, sibling or you no know? so basically what I'm seeing is somewhere you know there is this trust that you have broken all right of somebody who is young young to you and you have kind of disappointed then now see it's very nice to hear all about good karmas but as a channel I always uh, I always aim at providing you a clear picture so yeah it also is a possibility. Now, this could be some other lifetime as well. It's not necessarily this lifetime, only the, this particular karma that you have created. But in this or in a previous lifetime, it looks like uh, you had very clearly. Now, this is what I'm getting. In this or previous lifetime, you had let go on of someone who really loved you for maybe work purpose or attending some war is what I can get. And this particular person was waiting for you and you never came back. And this person's trust got broken. So basically karma in trust, love in this or previous lifetime. This can also mean that you have broken a trust of a younger a child or a younger person. Third, it can also mean that uh, maybe you let go of a child in one of the previous lifetimes. All right. Or maybe in this lifetime. So that's a karma around a child. Alright. Now, you know when I look at these two cards, I feel that in your previous lifetime, you were a warrior. Alright. And as a warrior, the positive karma that you created is that when somebody accepted defeat, you did not rub your victory on their face. Okay. So that's also one of the positive karma that you created. Even in this lifetime, when you win something against someone, you don't rub it on their face. You're compassionate towards them. All right. Now, let me move this up. Let's see what lesson, uh, what lesson you have chosen to learn, especially in this lifetime. So, in this lifetime, you have chosen the lesson of seven of swords. All right. Which means you have chosen this lesson of not manipulating anyone uh, to create to create this honesty now see here you had broken someone's trust okay in previous lifetime or this lifetime and so you have chosen that going ahead the lesson that you have chosen this lifetime is to follow the right path be honest so you your path will be loaded with temptations and addictions so, it's going to be very important for you to follow the right path and not get distracted. Do not take shortcuts. Even though something is taking time and there is a temptation thrown at you that you can take a shortcut and go ahead. Do not do that. Alright, now let's see your other cards. Uh, we're going to see the blessing coming your way first. 
all right uh, let me just get my blessing deck i have kept it away so sorry for that so let's see the blessing created for the positive karmas that you have generated in this or previous lifetime just going to move your cards a little up a blessing on your creativity so you are a very creative person you can really bring imagination visuals to life all right you are someone who is also amazing in bringing in that light and love into other people and your life you could be related to your profession could be related to music as well but you are a very creative person and you bring lot of light energy around you the other blessing coming your way a blessing to find the truth i many times we feel oh what kind of a blessing is that that's not really a blessing but when you are aware of the truth you can really go ahead in a very very uh, insightful manner you're not going ahead without having any knowledge about where you're going what what you need to do right so when you know the truth you know exactly what path you need to carve for yourself and that's very important so when i'm seeing this a blessing to find the truth and the seven of swords it's so interesting that you're chosen uh, to follow the right path to follow the path of truth in this lifetime and to find that path there will be blessing given to you okay now let's see your other cards i want to remove them intuition and manifestation so uh, you have a very strong intuition this intuition helps you to to receive the guidance that the divine wants to give you and this guidance helps you to go ahead and create more good karmas that's beautiful the next is a year from now so lot of changes uh, you are going to bring into your life in 2025 and you your you, you're also going to get recognized people are going to look at you and be like oh my god this person is bringing in so much of light you know i'm constantly hearing the word prayers and chants it looks like you pray a lot and these prayers are bringing in lot of love and light into this world and that's a very very positive karma to create the next is it's time to play so here the divine wants you that you know you have chosen this lifetime you're meant to learn lessons however you also need to take it easy you are being so busy it's great that you are mindful of your karma however you need to also experience life in a positive way wherein you are having fun you are enjoying yourself and not constantly only thinking about okay if i do this then it will it will lead to this all right so you need to kind of take it easy as well i also feel you are generated lot of good karma with uh, animals okay hydrate so here the divine wants you to kind of you know uh, go with the flow it's important that you go with the flow and not kind of you know be very rigid that this should happen this way only you need to be uh, fluid that's important and also clearly you have given water to many people uh, you have quenched their thirst uh, it could be for knowledge it could be little physical th thirst and that's also a very good karma that you have created i see a lot of good karma around animals as well you know so in order to create more good karmas you need to surrender your ego all right i told you right you need to be fluid with the hydrate card that's going to be super important because once you uh, start you know focusing on service to others you will see lot of life changes in Uh, coming in to your life all right so start operating from the focus of serving others however ensure that you are not um you know extinguishing or erasing your boundaries just because you want to serve others let's see certain tea leaf cards as to which areas of your life are going to get affected by the positive karmas that you have created 
Okay. So wealth is going to get positively affected by the karmas, good karmas that you created. Next is happiness. You're going to get a lot of happiness and joy because of all the amazing work that you have done till now. Now I'm going to remove one card which you may not like, which is regarding what which area of your life is getting affected because of the negative karma that you have generated. Career, okay. So right now your career is getting affected because of the karma that you are generating. So how do you address this issue? All right. So whatever career you are in, if you're a doctor or you're a teacher, what you can do is you can give free service or a discounted service to others via your career. That can definitely help you to get rid of the negative karma. All right. And I also feel that... Let's see the impact. Like what is the intensity of this karma? Is it like high or low? Okay. So you have faced a lot of disappointments in your career. Okay. Now, as I said, in order to get rid, get rid of this energy so that the future doesn't replicate the same energy. Start helping people via your career. Now, if you're a homemaker or if you're a student or if you're a retired person, and you're like, Shivachitil, you know, I don't have this. I'm not in, I don't have a career, you know. So what you can do is you can just serve others because you have got over here, cultivate gratitude, be of service to others and be flexible so that this particular um, area of your life becomes better. Now, the ones who are homemaker, retired person and you are into education, like you're a student, then somebody who is your source their career may be getting affected now that, that does not mean you be like oh my god because of me the other person is suffering no it's not that way it is their karma as well so what you can do is you can help others thus uh, you know kind of creating a positive karma where there is a need all right now let's see your yellow cards what they are telling us Goodbye. So now all this suffering that you have been going through, now that you have found the truth, it is going to go away and better times are ahead. Friends, you will get the right people to support you uh, That and in that in turn will help you to go ahead. All right. Now let's see your book of answers, what it is going to tell us. Gentle persistence will pay off. So, persist but do not be aggressive about it. Gently kind of uh, push things ahead. Now, let's see what your Wheel of Fortune is going to tell us. So, think about a question and let me spin the wheel for you. Wait. So, you have got wait. that, And you know, you got gentle persistence as well. So, whatever you are praying for, you need to be... Uh, you need to be patient about it. That's important. All right, my lovely group two. I hope you and sorry. All right, my lovely group one. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. If you did, do hit the like button. Do subscribe to my channel if you are guided. And um, yes, my book Prayer, Magic and Miracles. The link is there in the pinned comment. Uh, so you can uh, avail a copy of it so that, you know, there, there's a lot of prayers in that particular book for career, for love, 82 prayers. And those prayers can help you if you're guided. You can definitely get a copy of that book. All right, my lovely angels. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, my lovely angels. How are you guys doing? I hope you're fine and rocking as always. Group 2, welcome to my channel. This is Shikil Sapan Matre. This particular topic was requested by one of my followers and it is such an awesome topic. The topic is all about your karmas. So we are going to we are going to see today what good karmas have you created, what negative karmas you have created. Now this could be this lifetime, previous lifetime as well. We are then going to see what you need to surrender to create more positive karmas, effect of both positive and negative karma and the blessing that you are going to receive. So it's a detailed reading. So, if you've chosen this pile because of your date of birth or because of this lovely tea light candle, one thing is for sure, you are someone who is a very enlightened soul. You believe in, in being service to others. 
all right you bring lot of knowledge into other people's life it could be via your words there's a high probability that you are into field of communication or teaching or mentoring or whatever you do people just want to be around you because they know they can learn a lot from you i feel that through various lifetimes you have uh, been a very eager student and also eventually have become a teacher is what i'm getting now let's see all about your karmas good karmas that you have created in this and previous lifetimes negative karmas that you have created what lesson you have chosen to learn in this lifetime okay let's see all the cards one by one okay the positive karma that you have created is you have really uh, helped many people to understand what they are good in you have also helped many people to go ahead you supported many individuals to grow you have been someone who has like when you were a student when you were learning you used to help other students to cope up with whatever you know uh, knowledge they, did, they needed to go ahead uh you are also someone who is creative and your whatever you create is helping lot of people and thus you're generating a good karma also uh, this particular karma that you have created is by letting lot of people like if someone made a mistake uh, you were quite compassionate towards that person and you have helped that person uh, by being compassionate i also feel when somebody had to kind of let go of something materialistic or they did not have something materialistic and if you had it you have shared that with others you know what it is to not have something in life and whenever you see someone in a similar situation you go out of your way to help them you have helped many people by donating money you have also done lot of uh, spiritual work as well so when i said spiritual work it could be you know uh, doing uh, prayers for someone or doing puja in someone's name is what i'm getting but it it's clear that you have helped many people who have lost their way who have kind of let go of something and they are like now what should i do where should i go so you have been like a guiding light for many people all right and you support you support unconditionally people feel so good they know that you are there for them all right now let's see the negative karma that you have created so this negative karma is related to emotions all right so when you get emotional you're not able to process your emotions in the right manner and then you just blast you become very unkind and you see things that you should not be saying this way you hurt others emotionally all right uh, see many a times there's a lot of debate that goes on but the other person deserved it you no one to say what someone deserves that is god's job not ours so you have been hurting people emotionally with your words that is one karma that you need to correct all right uh, i also feel in one of your lifetimes i think group 1 and group 2 are a little similar is what i'm getting in one of your lifetimes uh, you were a very kind of a wealthy person and you rejected someone who was not of the same level okay and that kind of hurt that person hurt that person okay so yeah now let's see what lesson you have chosen in this lifetime in this lifetime you have chosen the lesson of queen of pentacles which means you are going to really be very abundant and help people around you you will be finding yourself that you are the main um, main bread earner or even if you're not the main bread earner you are the one around whom everybody is moving okay their life is moving 
Because someone who has taken the res- the lesson to bring in a lot of abundance and nurture and care in your and other people's lifetime. Since your karma was around emotional hurt, this ta- lifetime you've chosen the lesson to emotionally and materialistically nurture everyone. All right. Now let's move your cards a little up. Now we are going to see your blessings that the positive karmas are going to create. Blessing one and blessing two. Okay. Blessing one is a blessing for a fresh start. So here this card is saying that, uh, you know, over here, since you gave someone the opportunity for a fresh start, when they were all done and dusted, you are going to also receive this blessing. When you feel, you know what, everything is going down and nothing is kind of going to get revived, there will be blessing coming your way, which will help you to have new beginnings and a fresh start. The next blessing is a blessing on your love. So you are going to receive a lot of love. This love could not only be in terms of romantic love, it also means love from friends, followers, family as well. A lot of love coming your way. We're going to also see your other cards to understand what they're trying to tell. I've already removed them. you got teacher over here. Oh my God, this is so surprising. So when I was, uh, when I was holding your option, I did tell you that many of you are, have been teachers so you one of the main life purposes that you have is to share knowledge knowledge that you have created and you have uh this does not mean copying someone it means that you will be sharing a lot of insights with other people that can help them all right i also feel you're going to write a lot of books a lot of knowledge you're going to share with others and that's going to help you earn a lot of love the next get more information so for you to um, share this knowledge or to bring this light, you need to do your own research. You need to connect with your higher self and get there those downloads and information so that you can help others. You got your vibration is rising. So clearly, all right, all the work that you have been doing, that's why you're getting the blessing on love and a fresh start, right? All that amazing work that you have been doing is leading to raise in vibration. All right. You are growing spiritually. You are evolving. And because of this evolvement, you will be able to help others. Sing. So some of you could be uh, really good singers or maybe you hear a lot of chants of the divine and uh, muse something or maybe you're related to music in some way so uh, it also means this can also mean one thing you could be bringing a lot of love and light into this world via music it could be as simple as gifting someone uh, a cd or you know uh, some or playing the music that they love all right it it could be a very simple thing but then suppose if somebody's down they are in your car and you play exactly the music that they love and that brings a lot of happiness into their life it is a simple thing right but then the person becomes so happy and uplifted and thus you create a good karma right so similarly you have been doing that i also feel that you play a lot of chants and you know prayers and hymns in your environment thus you are raising the frequency of your environment and all the people in that environment what you need to surrender to ensure that you create more good karmas it is procrastination for any reason if you're procrastinating your life purpose all right then that's affecting people around you as well if you are procrastinating paying someone that's again creating a negative karma so it is important that you take action all right because this action can really help you to create a lot of great karma. Now let's see which area of your life is positively affected by the good karmas that you have generated. Okay, I'm going to pick one. So career. Wow, so career is positively affected by the good karmas that you have generated. 
and wealth. Wow, this is interesting. So career and wealth are the two areas that are giving you a lot of positive effects of the good karma. Let's see the area in your life which is negatively affected by the negative karmas that you have created. Love. And you know, it is so interesting. So though this is the area which is negatively affected, you have got a blessing on your love which has been created because of the positive karmas. Now this can, then you may think, oh Sheetal, that's a little, uh, that's little not falling into place. Now here, all right. So when you create good karmas, it is nothing but energy. At times that energy will be diverted towards where it is needed the most, right? So here it is needed the most into your love area because that's where the negative karmas is affecting and not surprisingly because emotionally I've hurt many people because of the words that you tend to fire when you're angry. So that's why the divine is balancing it out by blessing you on blessing you with love. All right. So now how do you create a positive karma in your love life? This the best way to create a positive karma in your love life is by being kind to others. Especially with regards to words, be kind, be mindful of the words that you are using. Or, you know, you may feel, but I'm being honest, okay? You can be honest and kind, right? Uh, you need not be honest and harsh. There is no point in being rough at the cost of hurting someone, okay? Try and use words to ex explain what you feel in a kind manner. So, you can get rid of this karma by being kind to others, by doing acts of uh, service and love without expecting anything in return. So for example, if someone's birthday is there or if someone loves something, you get that for them without expecting that they'll do something for you. All right. Now let's see your yellow cards. I really enjoyed doing this reading. The one who had suggested this topic, thank you so much. All right. Spiritual growth and connect. And it is interestingly on the card, your vibration is rising. So a lot of spiritual growth and connect you're going to have. You know, I feel group 2 is a little similar to group 1. So were you confused between group 1 and group 2? Rewards and recognition. So it's take action and do not procrastinate and you will receive a lot of appreciation, rewards, recognition, which is going to really, really make you feel motivated. Now let's see what your book of answers is going to tell us. You will need to accommodate, which means you need to adjust. It cannot be my way or the highway. Now, let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us. So, think about a question and let me spin the wheel for you. You have got between maybe and better. It is towards maybe. Even group one had the same, uh, same thing. So it's a 50-50 area because you need to take action as you're caught over here, surrender procrastination. All right, my lovely group two, I hope you enjoyed this reading and you got a lot of clarity uh, from this reading. And you will take the requisite action in order to move ahead. I have a book, Prayer, Magic and Miracles, which has got 82 prayers in it. And these prayers are... Um, quite powerful if you feel guided you can get that book the link is in the pinned comment I kept the price very low so that everybody can uh, make use of it all right my lovely angels take care of yourself lots of love to you bye bye hello group three how are you guys doing I hope you're fine and rocking as always this is Shila Sapan Madre welcome to my channel today we are going to do a very interesting topic a topic that one of you had suggested in the comments. The topic is all about your karmas. The positive karmas that you have created, the negative karmas that you have created in this or previous lifetime. What are the effects of those karmas? Where exactly uh, this uh, karma is affecting you? What are the blessings you are going to receive from it? All of it in detail. Alright? So if you have chosen this pile because of your date of birth or because of this lovely elephant. Here is a message for you. I feel that you are very powerful. 
all right however lately you have been feeling that your power or the effect that you had on others has gone down however in what you need to really understand that you need to use your power in a very very mindful way do not use your power to trample others use your power to uplift others you are someone whom people look up to they feel that you have lot of wisdom lot of knowledge um and also they look up to you for guidance i feel so somebody who is very wise and who who knows how to use their wisdom is a message that i'm getting now let's see what your cards are going to tell us so over here you can hear the crackers in the background all right so enjoy let's see you know what the crackers in the background is telling me that you are going to truly achieve a lot of great things in life in which positive karmas that you have created okay this just fell i'm going to take it oh my god all right the you know what i'll take this three as a advice okay positive karmas that you have created negative karmas that you have created the life lesson that you have chosen in this lifetime okay let's see all of it in detail okay wow the positive karma that you have created is you brought a lot of hope into people's life many people feel okay you know what when they are hopeless they feel you know right now i can't go anywhere you bring in that hope also you appreciate people your positive words motivate people and that words have created lot of a uh, good karma i also feel that you help people to realize the kind of amazing person they are you make people feel good about themselves all right when anybody meets you they're not worried that oh my god he or she will say something and then i'll have to kind of struggle with that no when people meet you they feel so good and uplifted uh, you have brought a lot of hope healing into other people's life some of you also guide others uh, by using uh, astrology or tarot as a tool now some of you and all of you and that has also helped others to know where to go ahead so that clarity which you gave has created a lot of positive karma wow you have got justice so you do justice to every role that you play whether it is a parent whether it is a child whether it is a sibling whether it is a friend so you try and do as much as justice as possible to that role you're also very mindful of your karma so you try and maintain balance you have been excellent at following the right path and you know you got two major arcana cards the positive karma that you have created is very very strong powerful and profound so be extremely proud of yourself you have done a great job now let's see the negative karma okay all right so the negative karma that you have created is to yourself yes you are someone who is open to giving others but you are not open to receiving that's a negative karma which you have created i also feel that there was a friend who needed help and you did not help that friend for any rhyme or reason okay and that this particular friend or acquaintance really needed your help and you did not help them and that has kind of created a negative karma i also feel that you are quite you know particular about friendships if someone does something wrong then that's not forgivable according to you so you need to forgive people that's one of the karmas that you need to create which is letting people you know be let like you need to forgive people all right because holding on to resentment doesn't help it also looks like 
you are not accessible to people and uh, this is not that of a negative karma okay you have your own reasons for the same but you need to kind of correct it all right you need to help more people that's what your cards are suggesting and then your negative karma will get erased or reduced i also feel in one of your previous lifetimes you did not do justice to others in terms of helping them someone when the someone needed money you did not help give that monetary help to them in this or previous lifetime i also feel in this or previous lifetime you were really judgmental to people who do not have enough okay like you 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 are aware of it you at times judge others you yourself do not like that and that's what you need to work on in this lifetime you have chosen to learn the lesson of being a student okay of helping others in terms of knowledge you have chosen the lesson to be grateful for everything that the life life has blessed you with you know this pile has got lot of profound deep good karma that's why this three card just fell off okay but uh, your karma is to spread knowledge to be grateful to create that sense of gratitude in others and to kind of uh, also create financial wealth for others okay so you're going to be a medium to create financial wealth so you're very lucky for others the moment you enter a store your presence will make the store full of customers so one of those examples all right and let's see what and the previous push this cards ahead i'll again come back to this cards as and when required uh group 3 i will be giving you more time because the divine wants me to okay let's see your other cards 5 of wands 2 of cups and empress so clearly you are someone who is blessed with abundance and you create abundance for others as well however you tend to fight a lot or argue a lot or you're very defensive you need to get rid of that you tend to be so when you are in that zone of anger you just tend to you know uh, be very harsh to others this so that needs to be worked on you're somebody who really if somebody gives you a you multiply it and give back to them you're a very committed loyal person and you are a very good partner as well is what i'm getting you're also a very great parent all right and you i feel that some of you have issues with your mother or mother in law but that fight that you have with your mother or mother in law needs to get sorted all right at times you need to understand that you are a higher soul and to expect other person to be of that higher vibration is not fair to them because they are not equipped at a soul level to be at the same level as you they're still in the process all right so clearly you need to help more people that's what i'm getting with this card now let's see your blessing that you're going to receive because of all the positive karma that you have created i also feel you let other people shine okay you don't block their shine blessing 1 blessing 2 oops i shook the camera the first blessing i'm going to receive is a blessing on your love because of all the positive karmas that you have created all right so the blessing coming your way is a blessing on love and the second is a blessing for healing of injury or illness please see a right doctor that's important now see it's so amazing you have created good karma over here in terms of healing and that's why you're receiving this amazing healing energy let's see your other cards that i have already removed letting go so it's important for you to let go for things to manifest you also need to let go of people not behaving the way you wanted them to behave this is going to be so important the next is communicate clearly you need to communicate kindly and clearly 
at times you speak in an ambiguous manner and the other person tends to get confused you need to create positive karmas via your words especially when you are harsh with people okay oh my god another let it go so my dear pile three you need to let it go all right so if something does not work the way you want it to or if someone does not behave the way you want them to behave let it go let them learn their lessons on their own you got ground yourself so it's important that you stay grounded uh, no matter how much you grow you are not letting that go to your head also it's important that somewhere what is happening is since you're growing spiritually you feel guilty to ask for materialistic things that you need to work on because all the abundance that you get you are meant to help others all right so that's important you got surrender denial it's important for you to understand accept people and situations the way they are than trying to force things on others all right not everybody is of a high vibration as you and you need to be okay with it that's super important i'm going to keep your cards over here okay so let's see which areas of your life is getting positively affected by the good karmas that you have created well okay so you always have abundance of wealth if you're worried about your financial situation do not be you're going to get a lot of abundance and again that's your life purpose as well area positively affected by your good karmas career okay so career and wealth is something that is positively affected by your good karmas now let's see the area which is affected by your negative karma success i feel this is now see here is what i want to tell you you got career and wealth so that means you're going to be successful over here all right and you got love over here so i see that okay your marriage may also be great or okay success could be you know like okay let me explain it to you this is very very interesting because you got let it go also so you will get success in what you want however the success will get either delayed or there will be lot of obstacles in it all right so for example for you to get wealth you have to struggle and then you will get it for you to get success in career you will get it but it will be delayed for you you to get that love it would be first a struggle and then it will happen for example if you have been wanting to become a parent it will happen but there is a struggle involved so everything comes with a struggle that's that's the way and the six of pentacles i also feel that you you know what i feel you did not value what you had okay financially or you don't value what you have the lack is lack of gratitude yeah that needs to be worked on okay now let's see what your yellow cards are going to tell us debts paid okay so all you most of your karmic debts you have paid okay so regarding the success the karmic debt has been paid so now you will have a little ease is what i'm getting trust and faith you you have not broken people or a trust of people around you and plus you have unshakable faith in the divine or a strong faith in the divine that's kind of helping you you got celebration over here oh all you know what one more thing i got from a negative karma somebody wanted money for a wedding or a birthday or some for some celebration and you are not given that money to them okay that's one of the negative karmas because i got a celebration card so somewhere the debts has been paid and you will be blessed with that celebration as well 
Now let's see what your book of answers is going to tell you and then I'll see your wheel of fortune. Okay, let's see. Adopt an adventurous attitude. So you're, you're, you worry a lot. You overthink a lot. I also feel some of you are scared to become famous or known. You get uncomfortable when you get attention. So adopt an adventurous attitude wherein you are like, you know, let me see what happens. So think about a question and let me spin the wheel for you. You have got a no. Okay, let's see why is it a no? Because I was okay with the wheel because then I, because you don't let it go. It's a no because you need to let go. Okay, you need to let go for it to happen. All right, my lovely group three. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. If you did, do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you are guided. And yes, I have a book, Prayer, Magic and Miracles, which is uh, which is about 82 prayers. And those prayers are powerful. If you're guided, you can uh, click on the link and get your copy. I kept the prices very low so that many people can avail that book. Also, Money Magnet series is on. It has worked beautifully since 2017 or 18 of me launching it. And if you want to benefit from those uh, series, it's available on my Instagram channel. The link is in the pinned comment. Also, we're sharing it on YouTube. Try and do that. And definitely your financial situation will at least improve a little bit or you may get clarity. All right, my lovely angels. Take care. Bye-bye.